Hello everyone, welcome back to the Korean Keto Guy channel. And in today's episode, a um, couple things, right? Obviously I'm super excited to show you guys the dish that I have prepared for you all. But one thing is that I'm trying, I'm trying a new angle as well again, because um, really I want you guys to be able to see the food, right? That's the, the main kind of centerpiece, if you will. So hopefully this works better. Definitely let me know right in the comments down below if you guys don't like this angle where it's so high up, um, where you don't even see me, let me know, right? Or if you do like this, let me know either way, right? I'll make sure that, uh, you know, the videos look good for you guys. But really, today's dish is going to be really weird. Uh, really special because it's so weird. Um, so the thumbnail, of course, says it's going to be hamburger, which it is. I've got essentially two pounds of hamburger right here. Um, equivalent to about, about four hamburger patties right here, along with steak, okay? And it's weird because this steak... It was just like those like ribeye steak like in the pre-packages that I'll probably post the pictures um, for you guys as well. Um, and, you know, I don't know. I was in the mood for meat, beef. I haven't, had, I haven't had beef in a while. So I figured I'd get some of these like grass-fed beef steaks uh, off of Amazon. And then it came with another sirloin or it came with a, uh, excuse me, I believe, it was, I believe it was filet mignon actually, which is weird. But anyways, I'll let you guys see that right here, a little close up, okay? Essentially, there's two steaks in here. Um, but the real kind of weird part about this um, this dish here, and, and again, I'm gonna make sure you guys get a very good angle at this, is, uh, is this right here. Here's the reveal. Here is uh, the two pounds of ground beef. <laughs> I can already, you know, kind of tell what you guys are thinking. I know it looks disgusting, but this is it. And what makes this all even kind of crazier is that I managed to do all this somehow uh, in the oven. Yep, you heard that correct. I did everything here in the oven. I threw everything in the oven at 400 degrees, you know, preheating it for 15 minutes, then throwing it on there for almost like close to an hour. And then even then, um, the ground beef, I went ahead and microwaved it just in case because uh, there's so much in here. And as you can tell, oh yeah, and specifically this ground beef is 80-20, so it's 80% fat. I'm sorry, 80% lean, 20% fat. Keto friendly, of course. Um, and a lot of the fat here, like a lot of the oil that you guys can maybe see here, I definitely didn't waste that, right? I actually used it to kind of drizzle over the steak. So that's where you can kind of tell there's some, you know, fat there or oil. But anyways, oh, and of course, uh, hot sauce of the day is sriracha. Shiracha. Now, quite frankly, this does have a little bit of carbs, but as long as you, uh, excuse me, as long as you don't overdo this, you'll be just fine. But this is my hot sauce for today. Um, and yeah, guys, without further ado, I am pretty hungry. A little nervous, I am not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous just cause, uh, not entirely sure what to expect, but, you know, I was craving beef, so here's what I get, and I'll promise I'll shut up now and, uh, Let's have at it. So, let's try the steak first. Let's try this filet mignon. Okay. All right, well, Look at that, it just sticks in the ground beef. I think I definitely overcooked the filet mignon. It is, appears to be well done, which, not a fan of that, but this was a little bit of an experiment, okay? I promise, I don't eat my steaks like that. But I was experimenting and wanted to do everything in the oven, so maybe it was a little too lazy. But chambu Okay, so I don't, know if, I don't know if it's because I'm super hungry, but that still is really good. Let's try some of this ground beef here. Or the hamburger patty. Sorry guys, I know. Thumbnail is a little misleading there, but it's hamburger, all right. Okay. Good old 80-20 hamburger. All right, that's the keto way here. Mmm. Mmm. 
Now this came out just fine. Look at that, a little sriracha right there. Now this is as keto as it can get right here, guys. In terms of no carbs, only carbs, literally the only carbs that you're gonna get are from the hot sauce. Here we go. Mmm. So ground beef was a success. Filet mignon and the steaks, not so much. All right, so still good though. Not gonna lie, it's still good. Okay. It's certainly would not be as um, as tasty as a rare or medium rare steak that I would have normally otherwise done, but it's still really good. Um, oh, this is really good. I'm gonna dip it into the ground beef fat or the fat from the ground beef. I know it sounds gross, gross, but trust me, on keto, it's okay. Mmm. I have a spoon here. Mmm. Wow. By the way, I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish all this. We'll see. I mean, two pounds plus ground beef, or about two pounds rather, two steaks. That's a lot of meat. And I wasn't kidding, guys. I was craving. I don't know if you guys have this um, happening to you all, but sometimes I crave meat like this, like beef, steak, whatever, and I just have to have it. And oh, this is already satisfying it. Oh, hot. Okay. Let's let that cool off for a little bit. That's still really hot. So I'm really anxious to get to the ribeye right here. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. And by the way, I did use salt and pepper, sorry. Mm. Mm. It's pretty crazy how much fat comes out of this ground beef here. When you guys get 80 20, you know what I mean, right? It's so fatty, but it's so good. Mmm. Wow. Now, I certainly wouldn't recommend, even if you're on keto, I obviously wouldn't recommend eating something like this every day. But this could certainly fall under a the cheat meal category for keto. That's what I think. Because yeah, you're not gonna eat this every day, and yeah, it's got a lot of fat, and yeah, that's good on keto, but I mean, even on keto, you don't wanna overdo it, in my opinion. So this is definitely a cheat meal. Well, look at that. So this may be a little too hot. I'm gonna let that cool down. And now, let's try the ribeye, okay? So this is the other kind of little prepackaged meat that came um, in the little package. So let me try this out here. And this one, unfortunately, has also looked like it's coming out. Well, actually, this one looks like it could be medium, right? Put that up. 
right there. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Okay. The ribeye came out just right. It's not rare, but it's more on the medium side. So this is a winner. Let's try out this big piece of ground beef. Look at that, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Oh! I was going to bring that up to the camera, but it's going to fall. Mmm. That seriously hits any kind of meat spot you may be craving. Like, you're not gonna be craving meat for like a whole week, I promise. Let's have at the steak here. Yeah, appearance is wise though. It certainly looks like it's well done. It doesn't taste well done though. That bite did. That bite did. Have, uh, did taste a little more well done. So, so far, in terms of uh, trying to bake steak in the oven, not a big win here. <laughs> Still good though. I mean, I would never pass this up. Mmm. Ground beef, on the other hand, fantastic. Yeah, let's see if I can try to show you guys there. It's a little bit of oops. Mmm. Okay. The pieces that have the fat are really, really good. Mm. Boy. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> this with the sriracha, unbelievable. This makes it taste so good. Mmm. Okay. Wow. This is seriously very good. This came out actually way better than the steaks did, which I was expecting it the, the other way around. So this part, 
Oddly enough, this looks kind of rare. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how this is possible, but <clears throat> some bites of this steak is truly on the more medium to rare side. Um, not rare, but more medium side. And then other bites are just like, well done. Which is insane, because if you're doing it in the oven, you'd think it would just cook evenly throughout, but wow. So all of a sudden, these bites are way better. It's a little more medium. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That was good. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> mm mm mm. Mm. <clears throat> so I'm probably not going to finish this here Maybe one more bite Mmm Especially because I've just consumed more red meat than <laughs> I've had in a long time. But yeah, guys, definitely the steak. If I could redo this, all right, lesson learned. I should have known steaks doesn't come out so well in the oven. Ground beef, on the other hand, very good. It came out way better than I thought, even though I used the oven to do this with. Um, and I have a little more than a pound left. I think it's a little less than a pound, but yeah, guys, <clears throat> I probably will just save this just because <clears throat> maybe one more bite. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Mm. Wow. This came out very good. Now, I have, if you want to do the same problem I have with this though, you can always just microwave it for a little bit because some parts on the inside were like a little not very well cooked. Uh, but anyways guys, wow. Again, if I could redo this, probably not the steaks. <laughs> but ground beef was amazing. Um, as always guys, certainly if you like this video, like this content, please give it a good big old thumbs up. Like the video if you haven't done so. Subscribe to my channel also if you haven't done so. Um, and yeah, certainly if you guys are craving meat, this is the one. This will satisfy your meat craving for a long time. And uh, until then, right, hope everybody stays safe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode next week. Take care, everybody.